Okay, today we got a package from Udo. Let's take a look what's inside the box. Well, if your factory outsource the hot runner system from Udo or some other famous hot runner system brands supplier, then they will send their technician to come to your workshop to assemble the hot runner system. Before we put, before we assemble the hot runner system, we need to be fully prepared. Ensure that the mold cavity and the components of the hot runner system are clean and free of any debris or contaminants. Now he's uh, putting the guide pins in the plate. This plate is uh, for the manifold of hot, hot runner system. So he is putting four guide pins in this plate. And later on, he's going to use that. What is that called in English? Is that a crane or maybe not? Please tell me if you know this. So he is lifting up this and put it on that. I would say that is a top top plate. Yes, I I could be probably I could be wrong. <laughs> OK, now he is cleaning these two plates. Later, he's going to put that manifold plate that plate is for hot runner system is going to put it on i think this can be can be dangerous these modes are very heavy and hard he should wear a helmet but he's not Okay, now the technician from Udo is going to put the manifold of uh, hot runner system onto the mold. Align the nozzle tips with the corresponding mold gate location. To check whether the manifold of the hot runner system is uh, correctly positioned in the in the mode, is to check whether there is a red mark left on that plate. If there is a red red mark on the bottom, then this is a good sign, which means okay, it's well positioned. And if it's not, then they need to adjust it because this part is very important. If it's not well positioned, the plastic, the plastic liquid can leak out from, from there. Okay, now the manifold of a hot runner system is well positioned in the tooling mode and now this technician is going to use screws to securely fasten the manifold onto the mold ensure that the manifold is tightly sealed against the mold surface to prevent any leaks and later on he is going to categorize all these power source or all these cables and uh, that is the tag he said uh, he's not going to put the tag on it which he, he should because we are not going to export the mode right now so he's going to leave that tag to our worker to put it on later laterly so this is all for this video i hope you liked it and if you if you have any other comments or useful information i'm so looking forward to hear it and i'll see you in next video thank you